Hi friends, this is Kamal Shah from Switch Arts Consultancy Private Limited. Switch Arts is into training on technical analysis and we had started the series of videos on understanding of options basic and options essentials. In options essentials, we have so far covered what is a call, what is a put and we saw in the last video what is a strike price and a tick size, right? So now moving ahead in the same series, I'm now going to introduce in this video three essentials which are related with the strike price. These three essentials are abbreviatedly called in the money or ITM which is in the money, at the money or ATM and OTM which is out the money. Now, why are we saying this in the money, at the money and o OTM or out the money? Because we are now considering the strike price that we are selecting with respect to the current market price, right? So there is a relationship between the strike price that we choose and the current market price, which has been shown with these three new attributes. So now let's understand what would be an in the money so now if my strike price say is 30,100 and if the current market price is lesser than my strike price which is 30,000 so in that case this strike price can be called as out of money because this particular strike price which is 30,100 is still not in the market. Market is still at 30,000 and we are thinking of buying something at 30,100. So that is the reason why this can be called as out of the money OTM strike price. Now consider if I say strike price of 29,900. So now with respect to the current market price, which is 30,000, this particular strike price is already in the market. The market is now above this price. So that is the reason why this particular strike price will be called as in the money. And if I say that I've consider the strike price, which is equal to my current market price which is say 30,000 then in this case I am at the money with respect to my current market price so whenever I use the term in the money out of money or at the money this is always respect to the strike price and the current market price right so now we know what is an ITM, ATM and OTM. This will vary with respect to now call and put because as we have understood call and put are both instruments which are opposite in nature because whenever we are expecting bullishness we buy call of that particular instrument that can be the stock or the index and if we are bearish we buy put of the instrument right and whenever the call of that particular instrument is rising the put will go down and same way if the put is rising when the markets are bearish the call value will start reducing so that is the reason why we need to understand now these three essentials with respect to call and put so now let's understand it with respect to call. So now if I am entering into a call option and say that current market price is, I will bet CMP is 30,000. So when I am considering a call to be bought and the current market price is 30,000 and if I by a strike price which is 29,900 then in this case my 
current my SP which is my strike price is less than my current market price. So if SP is less than current market price in case of a call option we call this as in the money because I am in the market where the market price is already above my current or selected strike price. So that is the reason why for a call option 29900 strike price would be said to be in the money with the current market price at 30,000. Now suppose if I am interested in buying the strike price at 30,000 and even the market price is same as 30,000. So if my SP is equal to CMP, I would be said to be buying an add the money option. Right, so this is going to be the add the money where my strike price and my current market price are nearly the same. Understand the term nearly the same because if the market is at 30,020 or 29,970 at the same time I can still consider 30,000 strike price to be at the money. Right, now let's see what would be the OTM for a call option. Now if I select a strike price which is greater than the current market price. So now if I select 30,100 as my strike price then with respect to my current market price my SP is greater than my CMP. So in this case I will be called as OTM. I'm out the money with respect to the current market price. So this would be the case for call option. Just to summarize, if my strike price is less than my current market price, I am in the money with respect to market. If my strike price is equal to my current market price, I am at the money with the market. And if my strike price is greater than my current market price, I am out of money with respect to the market. Now let's understand the same thing with respect to put options. So now let me select over here in the side. So we can now say if I am buying a put option, right? So now when are we going to buy a put option? When we are thinking that the market will fall, right? At that time we are going to buy this put option. So now let's understand that again the current market price I'm going to take at 30,000. Then if I select now a strike price, which is say 30,100, right? Which is above the current market price. Now understand this with respect to put. So if my strike price is greater than my current market price, then I am going to be in the money. Understand that I am going to be the, in the money with respect to my market because when the market is falling, 30,100 was already there and now I am moving more lower than that. Since I am moving lower than my current strike price, 30,100 strike price would be considered as in the money for me. Now let's see if I am thinking of buying a strike price which is going to be equivalent to my current market price. So then I would be said buying an add the money option. See add the money for both call and put would be the same as the current market price, right? And if I select a strike price which is lesser than the current market price. So I consider something as say 29,900. So in this case, 29,900 would become my out of money option. So the formula can be if my current, my strike price is lesser than my current market price, it is an OTM for put. 
So if you see side by side, I have got both call and put. You see that if my pr market price was 30,000 for the call, in the money strike price was 29,900. Whereas for the put, it is totally opposite. It is the out of money. And if you see that my OTM for my call option was 30,100, the same strike price would be in the money for the put. So this is how you would be trading in case of the options for call and put. You'd be thinking about what strike price to be bought with respect to your view in the market and the maximum that you can go in case of each of the strike prices so let me just write down a thumb rule here so this is going to be very important for all of you who is willing to trade in options the thumb rule is maximum that you can consider on both the side is three tick size what i mean over here is you can go three in the money uh, option uh, strike prices or maximum of three out of money option strike prices so just for an example okay if bank nifty is at say 30,000 then the maximum three strike prices that you can go towards lower than 30,000 would be 29,700 29,800 and 29,900 and the higher you can go is 30,100, 30,200 and 30,300. This is that you can choose as your strike price. You should not go beyond the strike prices. There is a fundamental that people try to buy cheaper option but it is not favorable for any trader to buy cheaper options. Hope this video is useful to you. For the new videos on the same or on the other topics, please like our channels on YouTube, which is the Sway Charts channel.